What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video you've seen us frame up the offices. We also got it drywalled and painted. And in this video we're gonna be finishing this place up. So what we're gonna be doing is a drop ceiling, doing some flooring, some baseboard and trim and finishing up those doors. And that'll be it, so let's just get straight to work. First thing we're gonna do is go to Home Depot and get some material for this drop ceiling. So we'll do that now. All right, we got all of our drop ceiling stuff. About to go back to the work site and start installing some of this stuff. I'll show you guys that now. So we're about to start this drop ceiling and we got our laser ran all the way around the room then we got our tracks we just bought so we're going to screw these tracks up along these laser lines and then hang other support pieces along the ceiling this way and then set our tile on that so we'll get that started now and show you some of that All right, so we got all of our tracks around the edge. And now what we gotta do is put tracks going this way. So we put some support pieces to screw, to screw our screws into, and then we're gonna be hanging wire. We're gonna show you now. Alrighty guys, so we just finished up our drop ceiling. You can see some holes are missing. The electrician's gonna come in and put some lights. And then over here we have a vent uh, that we're gonna be bringing down. So basically just gonna grab that from Home Depot. And this uh, place is basically ready for floor and gonna be wrapped up. So gonna jump into the other room, finish that drop ceiling, and then on to the next. All right, so like Chris said, we're gonna be doing this drop ceiling next. So let's get this done now. Alrighty guys, so we got this done and the hallway gonna be putting a two by two light here and then we're gonna be putting a four by two light here well we're not gonna be doing it the electrician is gonna be doing it in like a day or two he's gonna be doing all the finishing up all the electricity and stuff here so we subbed that out but it's looking real good come in from here so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get the whole floor cleaned up and start working on the floor so start that now we originally thought that we were going to be painting or putting floor in here, but we're only going to be doing flooring in the smaller office. So we're going to have to clean these floors. we got this machine to help us. It's like a buffer slash sander. So we're going to see if that works to get all this mud and paint off the floor. But if this works, then all we got to do is baseboard and trim in here. This room's done. Um, and then we got to do a, a hardwood floor in that room. But let's get this floor clean and start moving along on this floor. All right, so we got the floor clean after scraping and using that buffer. It's looking pretty good now, so we're gonna leave this floor the way it is, just throw a baseboard in tomorrow, throw our door in, trim it out, touch up paint, and this room should be done. We just have to wait for our electric guy to come with the lights, and then this room's wrapped up. We're gonna be moving into this hallway. The hallway is basically done. Just some trim and baseboard, and then this room is we're gonna be putting a serious floor in this room because this big old lip, this used to be a shower, the shower stalls, and the whole floor is sloped towards that drain and another drain in that room. So the whole floor is jacked up. So what we're gonna be doing is using some self-leveler, like cement. So we'll be pouring a bunch of that in this little area. The school knows the floor is bad, so they're not too worried about it getting perfectly level. They know that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna get it as close to level as we can and then throw some, some laminate floor in and baseboard and trim, touch up paint, and this is all, this whole job's gonna be done. So we're gonna come tomorrow and get right after it and try to just get as much as we uh, can done and keep moving along. So it's the next day, guys. Uh, what we're starting with first is leveling this concrete floor so we can um, throw in some laminate over top of it. Uh, it's pretty bad, it's like a half inch lower here. So what we're doing now is putting some primer on the ground so we get a good bond with our level stuff. So once this dries for about two, three hours, be able to mix up our um,
quick level stuff and be able to self level this whole area. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so as we're letting that set up, we're gonna come into this room and try to get this room done. First, we're gonna install this door and then install baseboard and trim and just get this room completely knocked out and then uh, keep moving into those rooms. But right now we're gonna install this door. So we'll show you that. trimmed out it's looking pretty good just got a cock and paint around it now we're gonna do these baseboards touch up paint get out of here fix this door move into the next room real quick we threw the trim on and the door handle it's looking good it's looking finished finally so our baseboards are all cut and they're just sitting there but if you guys remember it's all cement, those six inches down there where the old lockers used to sit. So we're gonna have to glue the baseboard to the wall because we can't shoot the nails through the baseboard into cement, it just won't work. So we're just gonna liquid nail all the baseboard to the wall and then call it on that and then move to the next room. Looking good. Alrighty, so our primer's dry. We've got two bags of quick level mix. We still got two more to go, but let's see how it goes. Alrighty, guys, so we had our four bags of um, quick level, basically. This is where it got us. We're gonna see if we have to fix anything in the morning, but some um, spots I touched with the trowel, which I shouldn't have, we're just gonna keep getting better, and hopefully in the morning we can throw some laminate on top. All right, guys, so it's the next day. Our floor level worked out pretty well. So what we're gonna do now is start flooring. As you can see, we already started. We got our underlayment down, a couple rows started, and uh, we went ahead and installed our other door so we're ready to run it up, get this whole floor done, come in with baseboard and trim and get out of here. As you guys can see, the electrician came, did his lights. So we're all working. So we're starting to run our planks. It's a pretty easy laminate floor, it's pretty wide. It's going down pretty quick. And we're basically just putting it in, taking our off cuts, starting our new row and basically have no waste, so getting it done. So we got the floor done quick. It probably took us about an hour and a half. We had one piece of spare, so we bought just the right amount. And if you guys remember, the floor was all messed up. We put our leveler down. Can't even tell anymore. Um, feels great. So what we're gonna do now is keep on moving, put the baseboard in, put the trim around the door, and then after that, it's just caulk and paint, and this room is wrapped up, so we're just gonna keep on moving. Alright guys, so we got all of the baseboard and trim done in this room. Check it out. Looks sharp. So now what I gotta do is just finish off this trim out here and the baseboard along here. And then all that trim and baseboard's done. And then we're gonna go ahead and knock these doors out. So let's just keep moving. I got this door trimmed out, did the baseboard. Chris has been working on this on this door. 
Check it out, guys. We have our plexiglass we're going to be putting in the back side. Like that. Put some silicone on the back and trim it out on the back the same way as the front. And for a uh, $80 door, making it happen. So, yep. we're going to keep getting it done. And we also caulked these baseboards in here. And so, really, now we just got to focus on these doors and then touch up paint and then get out of here. Yeah, guys, check out this room over here. The, the electrician came and got all this stuff done. Light switches, outlets, lights, emergency light. This room is basically wrapped up. So I'm just gonna keep on moving and show you guys the final product here in a little bit. Chris is doing the doors. I'm gonna touch up paint, paint all these baseboards, and uh, get this place wrapped up. Alrighty, guys, so our doors are all stained. Chris is taking care of the glass now. Put a little bit of silicone to make sure it doesn't rattle on the door shuts. Don't want too much so it is uh So we got this door done. It's looking really sharp. Can't really tell. We put the custom window in. Looks like it was just made that way. Ties it in together well with the floor. And we ended up getting all the painting done, touch up paint done. So we're done with the job. We're going to show you guys it from the start now. The school hired us to come in here into this old locker room and put two office spaces. We ended up getting it done in two weeks. School's super excited. They already got the office uh, lined up for the people to come in. So school's right around the corner. They're ready for that. And come check it out, see what we got done. So this is the entryway, you come in, this is the smaller office. We put the, uh, the level on the floor, ended up going over with laminate. You guys never seen that, the drop ceiling. Everything's painted, this is all done, ready for someone to move right in. Custom door, guys. Put the door stops on. Come check out the big office. This is the big office. This would be a nice office. I'd love to have this office as my office, but <laughs> school super happy with it. They didn't want to do a laminate floor in here just because the floor is fine. Just clean it up real easily. Cement. They said if they want to do laminate in the future, they'll contact us. That'd be easy for us to come in, put laminate, put cord around, and that's it. But that's it for this job. So we're going to close up shop now. We appreciate you guys watching. We had fun doing this job. The school liked our work and we got a lot of exciting jobs coming up, so stay tuned for that. Be on the lookout for our videos. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. So that's all she wrote.